Hey guys, I'm here right now with Solo of Genji and with Jen to help with some translation. Now Solo, um, it looked as though Genji had quite a lead, but then 100 Thieves were able to make a bit of a comeback. What do you usually tell the team during times like those when they need that extra push to be able to close out a map? 감독님 오늘 시작이 정말 좋았는데 살짝 상대에게 추격을 허용하기도 했었거든요. 이럴 때 선수들에게 어떤 얘기를 해주면서 확실히 승기를 잡을 수 있고 승리를 굳힐 수 있도록 도와주시나요? 일단 뭐 자신감을 풀어 넣어주고 저희가 어쨌든 상대방이 어떻게 하는지를 저희가 코치들이 얘기를 많이 해주면서 어 이길 수 있다라는 그냥 자신감을 많이 넣어준 것 같아요. 네. So we try to keep the confidence level up for the players, telling them you can definitely win this, you guys can do this as well. And we, me and um, HSK, we also tell the players uh, their game plan, our opponent's game plan, and how they should navigate through the match, and also, you know, just keeping the confidence level up. Well, I think their confidence levels are very much up after that map win. Let's see if Genji can close this one out. Yo, guys! Yo! Hello! Hello! <laughs> You gotta give it to Karen. He showed him. He showed him. This is the map that you guys thought uh, thought that Hundred Thieves would be able to take it home. Are you surprised that it was Gen G in the end? I'm Absolutely. Not... Uh, yeah, I am surprised, but I think that especially after we, what we saw on the first half, that we were pretty convinced. I think that time after time, how proactive Gen G were being on the defense round after round. I think that this is a good example. Also in round six, just defying this um, this uh, wall from Viper time after time, not respecting it, and finding this first fix. Hundred Thieves was always on the verge of like deciding what to do next. What's funny is it's really similarly to what 100 Views is yes. finding success with in their last match of Icebox when they played against Foot. These really proactive early rounds where you're finding timings like this one off the knife going for the contact push up. Texture doing a lot of these rounds where he's just taking a solo swing in and punishing players as they're setting up for this execute. If you let this double initiator comp exec on you, you will be losing rounds. If you're proactive, you can win. Genji proved that. And one of the big players making those plays was Caron. He's been great this whole event and he had a massive step up in this map. But I think that for me personally, after what we saw this this map and the comparison between the two halves, we could go pound for pound on every single head to head and, and just be in the Lakia yeah, and then Asuna. Like there's there's been so many good stellar moments for each and one of these players understanding where they have to be in the map and how the spike should not go down. This was proof though of how good both these teams are on their defensive side. I, I think that if 100 Thieves had started on defense, this could have been a different Different story, a strong map for both squads, but it's huge for Gen G to start this with a win. Yeah, from one rookie to another, let's head into the aim labs, shoot around, and check in on 100 Thieves EU, who Sorry. also had his moments Sorry. on this map. And again, uh, they very, very, very nearly pulled off the 311 comeback. Yeah, it was so close to making it happen. Their defensive side, I think, honestly, taking a lot of similar keys, right? These teams play similar comps, so the defense has similar success. It's the same mm -hmm. proactivity. It's Cryo swinging it. It's Io and Asuna working in, conjun in conjunction to set up a lot of these combined rounds with the Sova Gecko comp. Unfortunately for 100 Thieves fans, it just wasn't quite enough with Genji calling a few key adaptations at that timeout. It was so fresh to see them playing like that. Like every single player, like there was a round where Io, it looked like they, he had everything, then Munchkin ults and it's done. I mean, his ults were insane in that one too from EU. That double kill with the Hunter's Fury round was huge. I can't wait to see what 100 Thieves coach Zix had to say ahead of map two. I'm here right now with Zix of 100 Thieves. That was a really close map. Can you let us know during those rounds that the team was able to string together, what was going right for the team and how will that carry over to the next map? Mm, I think for the for the first half we we were a bit slower, like out of out of pace, I guess, with each other. So going into the second half, we set that as a pretty clear focus, make sure we were like fighting together on the same page, and that was definitely happening way more. Uh, you know, toward the end, we ended up having some uh, some mess up plays, is what it is, uh, that meant that we weren't going to end up closing out the map. But it's fine, it happens. We're just going to make sure that we keep to the pace that we like playing and keep just playing on the same page and we'll recover for map two and three. All right, well, let's see if 100 Thieves can pick up the pace on Ascent.
Well, they have to recover as we head to Ascend Kukuga because otherwise they're going to be knocked into the lowest to face Paper X. Yeah, exactly. And the compositions here are not going to be anything new. We're going to have a mirror matchup here, but Genji feels very, very comfortable in this map. Yes, G2, oh, sorry, uh, 100 Thieves has also have uh, a couple of very dominant wins, but they do not have as much practice as, G as Genji has. Two guys that stepped up big time to get that comeback rolling for 100 Thieves on map one were, of course, Bustio and Bang. Those two anchors are going to be critical to get a strong defense side here for 100 Thieves if they want to recover. Of course, they have to step up and dig a little bit deeper because Achilles and Paper Thin, this is fight for everything here in Master Shanghai. It absolutely is. Genji almost letting that first map get away from them. We know the tenacity. We know the fight is there for 100 Thieves. And as Coach Six was just saying, looking to just recollect, ignore that first map and just focus forward on these next two. Yeah, they definitely can. 100 Thieves is really good on Ascent. So is Genji. Genji's been struggling a bit as of recent history on Ascent uh, in Pacific, but they were really good at the beginning of this year. They went like 6-0 or something like that to start the year. Uh, meanwhile, not losing on Ascent at all under Thieves. AC pushed towards A potentially. Smoke to try to delay. Texture out ahead of it. Bang underneath hell. Two players in, Karan TPs with Texture, Karan gets the opener. And Karan able to find one, EU gonna be taken down. Texture eating a bit of damage here as Bang just lurking here. Within the smoke, pushes forward, it's able to find one. Turns his sights up to Lakia, but can't quite finish the job. Ends up getting taken down by Lakia. Tell damage, takes, taken down low, but still standing. Lucio now, last one alive. Fight HP bars planted. in tatters here for Gen G. Can he collect the kills? There's the first one, looking for the second, but then Meteor swinging up from main. Will shut it down, Gen G themselves another pistol. Yeah, just enough space given over for Gen G to punish it. Immediately putting two players into that cloud burst from Texture. No delay at the point of attack from 100 Thieves available. Bang trying to play his life underneath hell and he's usually quite good in that spot but only able to get one. And just Karan, God, he's, he's been insane. You know, the desk highlighted him in between maps, how good he was on Icebox. He's picking up right where he left off, and what an angle Lakia is able to find there between those two smokes. Get the kill onto Asuna. And look at this stack. Oh <laughs> my god. The Tower of Thieves. <laughs> this is some new tech. <laughs> where did they cook this one up? I'm not sure if it was in a lab or in a kitchen, but that is diabolical. I love it. But Genji. Not looking like they really want to swing into this one for now. It's just going to be Karen poking and prodding around towards A main. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pyramid. You make it cheerleading competitions. <laughs> like you're just stacked there. But Genji isn't seeming to go in that direction. I mean, they have zero information. They have no idea yeah. that this is happening. Well. <laughs> Smoke across here. Karan still wanting to play late lurk, wanting to play backstab. Smoke's off market. Busio, the only one here, does have a sheriff, can deal some damage. For now, switch gonna be hit. Nice shot across, does Spike take down Munchkin, down but beat. quickly traded out. Meteor able to find that kill. Now the rotation's coming through, the pyramid broken. Karan with a late lurk, but not gonna catch them. Going through mid just yet. He's at top left. mid, could do some damage. Just checking out the rest of the site. Nothing going to be spotted there. A little bit of damage across there. EU whittled away at down to 68. Just utilizing these Guardians for their best ability. Paranoia not connecting. Karan now slow creeping up here towards market. Yeah. EU potentially in a really rough spot. Not turning back, not paying attention to the angle. And Karan thinking better rub. Bip pushes forward. Unable to find the damage. Karan now striking, finds himself a second kill. Bang going to be taken down. Noting cry out over to the side. Being revealed. Savvy with a headshot. Meteor finds himself a second. Cryo will get one. Stop them from carrying over all of these weapons, but Gen G will find themselves a 2 0 start. Yeah, so so far, Gen G getting a little bit lucky from their read in that round. Could have been a could have been a lot worse there. I think 100 Thieves got into a position where they could maybe do some damage, but just in time, Khan showed up and was able to stabilize himself. EU had an opportunity. But just a little bit off with the aim, and Karan able to stabilize early off for Cryo. The glass cannon, no armor invested. This, this could be interesting to see where he's going to challenge. He's deep in mid, back behind Pizza. Knife's not going to confirm his position. Oh, but the shot goes wide! Cryo! 
doesn't find the connection, but Meteor does. Taken down. And that is a monstrous kill to be found here for Gen.G. They look to try to convert a bonus. Bang pushing forward, setting up the paranoia of a texture. Able to still find one, the full flash connecting. He dashes forward. Bang has no idea where he's going. He can't see a damn thing. Just TPing into the wall. Genji's just so patient. Oh, great shots from Bustio. Is he going to anticipate that Lockie is right behind the other corner? It's hard to say no. He doesn't. Quick two tap. A weapon to be picked up for Lockia. And an attempted save here for EU. This round, absolutely out of the hands of 100 Thieves. And this is something that 100 Thieves were so good at when I was VOD reviewing, particularly on this map, is dodging utility, dodging flashes, but Genji just baits them right into it. You know, 100 Thieves gets a little overconfident with their potential weapon advantage, and Genji just punishes the heck out of them. Munchkin's just willing to full flash texture so they can set up the rest of the players, and Bang is just screwed. You chance to do some damage, but Karan just swings out a little bit wider, adjusts a little bit faster, and every single weapon taken out of the hands here of Hunt Thieves. And that's Gen G, a 3-0 start. An attack side bonus for Gen G. That's crazy. Not something that you see every day. Oh. Oh no. Just below the elbow. Cannot find it. And then bang, I mean, just full flashed up. Man has no idea where he's going. Just plows forward into the wall. It's just it's like a human car crash. Just smashes into it. <laughs> it's an eco round now. 400 thieves, but defender side on ascent. See it all the time. Teams are able to string together some thrifties. Gen G is doing their diligence, just making sure there's any push outs they're accounted for, because 100 Thieves definitely will get aggressive. See Asuna trying to push this angle with a stinger, seeing if maybe he can catch somebody up close and personal. Maki is there, but Flash just backs him off. And you bang, tucked up on top. Let's see if that's gonna be read by Texture. He's, he's at least potentially suspecting it. Smoke coming through, and he's just gonna go ahead and spray across. The counter spray does confirm presence, but it cannot find that kill. Now Meteor gonna be dealt with over here in B main. Weapon recovered, EU just looking to back away. Flash catching, but Busio reinforcing, tucked away now. Good early advantage here for 100 Thieves. And it's huge. Texture being so weak makes that entry way more difficult. 100 Thieves doing a good job. Keeping themselves from taking left. much damage. The Fragment. A little bit of damage across there. Austin just sprang, trying to see if he can find anything. Zero point in the meantime, checking that there's no lurker over in wine. Plan coming through. Dash across. Austin able to find one. Kyron going to be taken down. Lockio pushing forward. Cannot steady that aim. Bustio gets the headshot. Which is corner. Much can find one. Finds himself a second. Three overall, but now texture all on his lonesome 24 HP. Tries for the readjust. Busio still here at having the backup plan for the team. Texture will find one, but bang, will put him down. 100 Thieves getting themselves here on the board. The MasterCard Thrifty. Yeah, huge stuff from 100 Thieves. Able to win some big battles out in the open, doing a ton of damage in the early parts of the round. And EU, oh, he catches Meteor. It's a bait and switch from Market. Nicely done there. The drop down from Asuna, so well timed. The Sheriff so strong. Get the reveal on the behind generator player and Texture has to swing out wide to try to cover that plant position. With the tap, he has to respect it because the smoke is there. He can't just assume that they had pulled off. And that's great, great push and pull from 100 Thieves. Well, let's see what Gen.G wants to do. They're going in hard. Yep, rushing up over the top. TP forward from Karan gets himself situated over at Boats. The Hunter's Fury. Just fishing for any kind of tags. Nothing going to be noted there. Nothing caught. It's Cryo. Peek out of the smoke. Tries to get the flick. Can't make it happen. Meteor at the same time. Able to find Busio. Spray through. Just looking to hold them back. Looking to hold them at bay. Caught Cryo on the repeat. Doesn't have to find one. But bang now. Dealt with. Dead. Cryo finds his second. He's down to 12 HP. Who could have predicted this? And Gen G just decided to up the pace. They drop a Thrifty. They push the accelerator. Well, this 
feels like the game plan for Gen G here today against this 100 Thieves team is to push the pace on their attacker side. Is to don't give 100 Thieves any breathing room. Don't give them time to figure themselves out. And it's a great combination of the Hunter's Fury, Texture dashing in, and the TP from Caron to gain this crossfire from B main into the back site. They deal with Bustio quickly. Great recognition here from Meteor because Bustio had slipped in to the lane position and he was dealt with. That could have been the backbreaker for Gen G in that round. But Meteor, so aware. Now they've got a lockdown versus lockdown. Here. Do have the no command for Munchkin. Cryo does have the Blade Storm, so he's going to invest in that in this round. Genji once again against a Thrifty, being cautious, making sure that there is no early aggression, especially with that Blade Storm. You've got to worry about that up and over off a of contact from the turret or something like that. Turret cleared out, zero point to check forward. It's a suppression here on the Busio, still holding, and Meteor swings right into it. Texture at the same time, though, able to find Cryo. Looks like Lockheed is suspicious that Bang. It's gonna be sat back here in wine, but weapon recovered. Busio able to collect that. This is no other presence over towards B. And this is something 100 Thieves loves to do. Tuck players in corners to try to catch you off guard. Oh. It's red. Shock dart fragment not lobbed in. Bang is just dead to rights. No way out. Smart read here from the side of Gen G, but not out of the woods yet. Asana tucked back, pushing forward, spraying through. Lockia trying to hound him down, but switch has been hit, but door has been broken. 30 seconds left. This pop flash is going to be sent through. Lockett able to turn away from me. Gets so much spray damage across on to Busio while blinded. And that just takes away the hero rifle. Recovery here from EU. Scoops it up. But now he's just tucked into the corner. They're just swinging forward. They want this man dead. See, EU tries to backpedal. The drone to check. The pull away. Does he just save it? Does he try to deal some damage? One off that Hunter's Fury. So just any kind of exits that he can get, but otherwise wants to just tuck back and keep that phantom in his possession. I think Genji here so weak, they don't want to give up any more kills. They know that that Hunter's Fury is one away. Texture's pushing for it a little bit. Oh, we saw him. Yep, quick little jump peek there. Able to spot it out. Whoa. Texture trying to rush this down, but he will collect the kill. Take a look back, and I mean, just the awareness to just spray through in the bench and take down Cryo. I mean, it's, it's something that Gen.G has shown us so far in this match is they've done their homework. They understand some of the ways that 100 Thieves likes to position themselves. Because 100 Thieves doesn't play a lot of what you would call traditional default. They're kind of active on the map. They're moving players around. Sure. They're trying to tuck players like Bustio into corners, like Bang, in the wine, as we saw in that previous round. Sometimes Bustio will go out in the mid and hide himself right underneath that box that's short, things like that, that you have to be so aware of. And Genji is, so far. I mean, Bustio's winning some great battles, 1v1s against Meteor. That's great, that's huge. But the rest of Genji is doing a great job working this map and finding 100 Thieves positions. And it's tough sometimes to read 100 Thieves as well because they're not always kind of playing like the agents in the positions you expect them. Like, it's sure. not going to be Asuna in tree all the time. He's rotating around the map. He's being really active. Sometimes it's EU there with the Sova covering that angle. Sometimes it's Bang. So they're really difficult to get a read on, but Genji so far has, and that's impressive. They've really done a great job prepping for this match, and that credit has to go to Solo and HSK for getting them ready so far. Well, there's timeout called. Let's see what the adjustments look like here for 100 Thieves. A rough go of it so far on this defensive side. Another ult built up. EU with that final kill, able to get the Hunter's Fury ready. Get out of my way! If it comes into play, if he's just going to be saving it, waiting for that for lockdown the... from Meteor. Yeah, he's looking for that Hunter's Fury angle off the recon dart. Gen.G wise to it. Alarm bot. Not going to get cleared. Flash into the face of Texture. Blocking sight. Overall, looking fairly non plus. Tailwind now going to be popped, pushing forward, and cannot get the knives through. Bang, steadying the aim. Comes up with two. Texture and Karen both going to be taken down. Cryo peeking into it towards B. Finds Meteor. Very solid start here for 100 Thieves, only losing out on one player so far. Lockie and Munchkin now left scratching their heads. Right, it's going to be tough. Seeing if they can find some space, but Munchkin about to be challenged. Huge from Cryo. Clean with a shot. 
Looking for the finisher, pushing forward. Doesn't read the Lakia. It's gonna be that far forward. Ends up getting taken down. Lakia spotting out one. But decides to back away. Tap onto the spike. Clear on the recon. No. Does get pinged. Darts now gonna be flying at his feet. Gets the plant down. He's able to get that money at least, but EU clean it up once more. 100 Thieves will find themselves a second round win. Yeah, it's just a great hold in market by Bang. He's so steady in positions like that. You don't. So difficult to displace, and there's no utility that's able to get in there to make Texture's attack into that position easier. And Texture whiffs a bit on the blades, and that's an easy 2K on the follow-up. He's been, he's been doing that lately. I know, you're absolutely right. I have noticed that as well. It's been a little bit off compared to what he's his normal self. He's normally quite clean with the blades. Well, a big round here for 100 Thieves. Now big ultimates as they look to try to get two rounds consecutively. Everything aside from their own Blade Storm available to, for them. Recon looking for the ping. Gets the spot out on the one. It's gonna be a back off here. And Hunter Fury not coming through. And saving it for the lockdown, it feels like. They don't want to open it up on a jet. Also that. Bit of an attempted bait from Gen G. So both Hunter's Furies, both lockdowns right there. Counters are available. Gen G is really trying to work the map, trying to clear the alarm bot in mid. Will it land? Oh, it's too far. Forward position, not gonna catch it. So now they're gonna put the smoke down. It's right inside of that smoke. Yeah, not really gonna be able to avoid it. Blind TP forward into pizza. Flash in, sending the flash in here towards three fragment, instantly coming through Asuna. Look at the save them all. Forces them back. Again, it's headed to the entry, but bang in the same position! Gets the same players, but this time he gets one kid on top! Lockdown's committed from both sides. But this round, out of Gen G's hands, Lock it out in mid, able to find one to peek coming through. But I don't think they're gonna read EU whatsoever. And they do not. Lock it again, last man standing. Just sat here on short. Spike stranded over at market. Left. Seeing if he can get away with anything. Time dwindling. Let's see if anybody's gonna go for it. Yeah, there's the spot. Makia trying to get away. Still have Cryo to consider. Found them. Since other recon, do they push forward now? Not fast enough to be able to find the punish. So Lockheed will be able to carry over the weapon. Economy's still decent for the side of Gen G, but bang. Is in this position back to back. Shutting down these rounds, shutting down these market takes. And we've seen some mental mistakes from Gen G today, as good as they've been. You know, the think about the lockdown in the previous map where it caught all the players. And here, this round just not accounting for the fact that Bang's in the exact same spot. I mean, that's. Something that somebody should be checking for. Revealing area. At least doing a quick peek to see. Garon, far forward here. Doesn't put any damage back there onto Asuna. He just gets whittled away at Boosty at the same time. And back over across the map, getting tagged down to 57. <laughs> this is uh, this is 100 Thieves in their element when they're able to push out towards the mains, take control of the extremities of the map like they have, tuck Boostio in a corner. Things like this is what makes them so difficult to read because they're all over the map, trying to catch you off guard. Here. And it's starting to work. And now it's Gen G's turn to find the response, to find the counter to it. Lakia does have an Odin, back up that Hunter's Fury. Both lockdowns were used, so still those Hunter's Furies could be invested to find picks. Push down Cat, you at the same time. Jiggle peeking back over at spawn, zero point, not quite going where he wanted it to. Doesn't gain much information. EU quick to rotate over, decides to hold on to the dart for a little bit longer. Texture gets himself up into window, and Munchkin not reading that he's being shot at whatsoever. Texture now does come in, manages to find that backstab, but cannot displace Asuna, who holds down the site. Three kills for him and shot on the door. Meteor. I think his presence known. Does find that one, but they're both stacked up, and neither will fall. 100 Thieves now, one round away from tying things up at 5-5. Five to five. Yeah, and now the utility exchanges are starting to go 100 Thieves' way. They're not really getting caught out by Gen G, especially Munchkin's utility. Munchkin there just completely sandwiched, not aware that EU remaining. could be coming so quick. Something you have to be aware of with 100 Thieves. They're really fast to react to open space and try to punish you. And this brings out a timeout from Gen G. 
wants to see if they can get this back in their favor. Because already, look, normally you'd say, you get five rounds on attacker's half on Ascent, you're having a pretty good half. Sure. Generally. Gen G. Not a poor position to be in by any means, yeah. but the mistakes that are being seen right here compared to the start of the map, that's the biggest concern for Gen G. And the 100 Thieves, again, we saw them starting to ramp up over on Icebox. You know that if you give them that momentum, they are going to just take you out. No doubt. And now they're starting to get crispy with their aim, too. And you're seeing it with Bang, you're seeing it with Asuna in particular, these last couple rounds. It's a big shot. Bustio has been really clean this map for the most part. And he's seven and seven, but he's hit some really impactful shots. We're making some good reads now. The IGL, four 100 Thieves. These Hunter's Fury is just collecting dust in our Sova's pockets. Yeah. <laughs> just, just chilling. Asuna does have that no command as well, but. These rounds have been kind of fast and furious. It's kind of 100 Thieves is able to shut these rounds down at the point of attack of Gen G, so they don't have to really invest many ults. Yeah. They're just getting kills. It's all the lockdown, you know, just what, a couple rounds ago. Yeah. But other, everything else has just been pocketed by them. Cryo now. Set up, anticipating maybe a bit of a jiggle peek out. Dart over the top. Smoke as well, invested. That'll force him back. Good space being taken, but zero point. Not going to be noting anybody. Alarm bot, not going to be cleared out. Yeah, they're kind of flirting with another hit towards mid here to see if maybe they could bait out some attention. See if they can sniff this operator out. He's got two basically able to stare in towards market. And watch that push up. And they've been, if they're slow on the early part of rounds, they haven't pushed mid this aggressively. So kind of in your mind, 100 Thieves, aware that they could have pushed these corners. Genji being so patient, freezing the map right now and not really giving much info over 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves seems to be reading it reasonably well. Point again going through texture. Utilizing that time. Flash across, but way too late. Munchkin swings in the market. Ends up getting taken down to Hunter's Fury from EU. Again, finding a kill. Meteor, dead. Just spamming across the map. Another advantage here. This texture finds one, but then immediately gets traded out. Left. A 2v4, but still a null command in their back pocket as well as Bang here on the site. Last the swing out of the Bang. smoke and Lakia doesn't know what hit him. It's Karen, able to see one, tries to go in for the challenge, but Cryo will have absolutely none of it. We are tied up at five to five. That's phenomenal patience from 100 Thieves. Just waiting this out, anticipating that Gen G hadn't moved, hadn't re-rotated, hadn't cleared any space, and they just hold right and short, right outside of market. Great patience, great Hunter's Fury, great pickup for EU again. Found some serious value with that ult on Icebox. Picking up right where he left off. All tied up. Genji has to go down to a slightly weaker buy now. Two Guardians, Karan and Lakia. Still that Hunter's Fury though as well for Lakia. See if he can find an opportunity to use it. They're four man, three man stacking Here towards A. Maybe looking to try to challenge some of these mains now, try to control the extremities of the map a bit more. Contact push up into B at the moment. This is just going to be the turret cleared out. Mano waiting around the corner and Cryo as well, shifting over by Alley. Genji just poking and prodding, just trying to remove some of this util that they've been struggling with in these last several rounds. It's right back to that slow pace. Got an opportunity. This is one of those rounds where EU is the one trying to guard Tree. So you don't have to worry about those flashes from Asuna. See if they can take advantage of this, but he's got this Odin. Zero point C is nothing. Shift over from Asuna, getting a little bit closer. Fragment said to try to check over towards Switch. Recon now up over the top. Doesn't get cleared out now. Gets the ping onto one, and there's the Odin. Looking for the second, and he's got it. Now Spike, Spike stranded, a. texture, dead. Lockia pushes forward, finds one, but Meteor. Seconds left. And Man's just trying to rotate over, but his teammates are all dead. Busio spotting him out. And there's a 50-50 setup here with Cryo on the other side. Just no util deep enough to bother. <laughs> EU is able to get that recon, get a ton of peaks. I mean, Genji Heart tried to react to it, Ten but with just left. the Guardian, couldn't clear it quick enough. All that info garnered, and it's another round shut down before the spike even gets close to being planted for Genji. 100 Thieves, so tricky. 
So smart, so aware. Now setting Last themselves up in the half. for a decently strong half here on the defender side. Re rescuing that rocky start. Again, that streak building up, that momentum building behind them. And Genji still scattered. No clear out on the dart. Two kills found for EU. A fantastic hold from him over a tree. So hard to deal with. It is. It is. You have to displace him with deeper utility, and they don't. And he punishes the heck out of him for it. Just so, so smart. Making sure here, I think, gonna give the alt over to Munchkin, indeed. Yeah, the Null Command could transition this into a fairly fast hit. It looks like that's going to be the case as Null Command does get popped here. Still a little bit slow on the approach. Just Entry here from Texture gets himself up on top of Jen. Now bang out into the open. Ends up getting taken down. Lock you. Hunter's Fury committed. Asuna dead. Texture setting up that cloud burst here. Cryo able to find one, but Texture is back within the smoke. Finds the kill. Knives pop. Two players now to try to clutch it. Busio and EU versus four. The push coming in. Texture. Attention. Pulled away. Ends up falling. That's the start. Aldrone to try and scout everybody here within the site itself. No one disconnected, no one out in main, no one on a flank. And it looks like they're gonna face this together. Double push up, pop flash gonna be sent just to try to slow them down, stay them off a little bit more. And EU with a spray, able to find one, but now he's all in his lonesome. Two players to try to get rid of the swing, getting ready to come through. They can't quite clutch it out. We're tied up six to six at the half. That was a brilliant execute. That recon dart, even though it doesn't spot anything, the lack Switching of information, sides. they understand where Bank's position is. They're able to shut him down early. Nicely thought out by Gen G. A little bit rough in that post plant, but they got it done. And breathe a sigh of relief once again, just breaking that streak. Bringing it back to parity. Gen G. Can they find stability, even on the defender side? Some stakes being witnessed. Still, definitely a cause for concern. No way to breathe easy going into this next half. Pistol round, ever important. Let's see who is going to take that first step. And for now, we'll go ahead and pass this back over to the analyst desk to break things down. Well, that half could not have been close, and it's time to take a look at the Verizon high speed moment. And it's bang, bang, bang. I you definitely, shot you down. I definitely meant to uh, say that, I wrote that myself. But yeah, 100 Thieves are on the board. Yeah, exactly. I think that things have started off so quickly uh, for Genji. They were just constantly sending and standing one step ahead. But the moment that 100 Thieves with plays like this one, especially from Bank coming from Market, started shutting them down, they started slowing down time after time. And then is when the problems started to come for the squad. Still, 6-6 six, six is an amazing attack side on Ascent coming out of Genji. Getting that last round on the board with the KO alt fast change of pace into the A site was huge for them. Even before that, though, I think they did a really good job of playing the mid round throughout, baiting out a lot of this utility, 400 Thieves, and when they got into the post plants, playing super disruptively and not letting 100 Thieves play into those flood retakes that they're so good at. Yeah, exactly, but we, now we need to look ahead. Yes, 6-6 six, six is not bad, right, when we're talking about the attack side, but Genji is right now three out of three in pistols in this series. If 100 Thieves wants to take it back, it has to start with the pistol. I think it has to start with some confidence on their attack side if they want to see Breeze. And we need to see 100 Thieves rally in this one. This team had such high expectations coming into this event. Such high expectations after winning their first series in such dominant fashion against Foot. Gen G, if they could close this one out here, I think you should really be considering them the tournament favorite. Well, the pistol round is going to be absolutely pivotal here. As Kakuka said, 100 Thieves, they haven't managed to win a single pistol round just yet. And this could be the most important one, Achilles and Paperton, for their tournament so far. Absolutely. I mean, clean with the pistols overall. How do they fare now? Shifting sides. Gen G over onto the, the defense. This is where you would favor him. Six and six overall on paper. Sounds like it'd be fantastic for him, but 100 Thieves are a different what piece. And they're starting things off gorgeously. What a shutdown to Gen G's game plan. Cryo and Asuna do take quite a bit of damage, but Kara just has to back away. A little bit of spray across as he waits for his teammates to rotate over, but Spike now planted. Recon. Quick clear, no pings found, and no shock darts held here by Lockyer to try to interrupt this. Door gonna be broken, Meteor able to find one, but now tag low, swings back in, does get himself a second. Garon noted, dealt with, Lockyer now. Last man standing, can't quite make it happen. EU will get the better of him at the end, and 100 Thieves will take the pistol. Uh, this just comes down to slightly faster timing here. 
from 100 Thieves. Their flash is in anticipation of aggression from Gen G. And Gen G isn't quite ready. Munchkin's there with texture. But I think they were thinking they'd get a little bit more space. Nasuna's flash is perfect. A lot of damage done on the way through to 100 Thieves. So that makes it close because they're all very, very weak. And Lockie has an opportunity but can't quite get it done. And that is a monstrous, monstrous pistol round. 400 Thieves. Looking for a similar rush out here. Just ignoring the one-way setup. Pop flash gonna be sent in. Much can do a decent amount of damage. Oh! Texture collecting two. Cryo and EU both taken out. Weapon cannot be recovered here. Way too far forward for it, but they'll even just juggle him back, not wanting any advantages handed over here to Gen G. What a bailout from Texture. I'm here. Just he, Gen G's so here. good with sheriffs. Now in the danger zone here is 100 Thieves. Any more kills, any more weapons lost. That's gonna be painful for him. Smoke's in ahead of the zero point. In the back, the push for Texture finding himself a third. Looking for the fourth, looking for the ace. Will not find it. Spang denies that away from him. Pushes back the weapon, scoops up the Vandal. But either way you slice it, this is already catastrophic for the side of 100 Thieves. Going out. See if he can get the win. Ooh, shots through, just looking to try to just Whittle away at him. Shock dart landing right in front of his face. Not ready yet. Plant in. An off default Shadow plant. Strategy. Allows him to avoid these shock darts as the drone goes on the hunt. But cannot get that dart reveal. With a pinch here is bang. Come down to timing. One more TP available for him. It's Lockya. Pitching his way forward. Time starting to twiddle. The drop down Lockya. Not getting taken out in Meteor. Delivering the final headshot. Tied up once again. Gen G make it seven to seven. Shutting things down here in their eco over. round. I mean, Texter is just an absolute animal. Just ridiculous what he's able to do. The paranoia is brilliant as well from Caron. The flash of getting involved from Munchkin. Gets those two and he's out. Three gets the, and the, they, I think that might have been a little bit purposeful from Caron to reveal his position behind Generator. He was tucked out a little bit to buy that extra space for texture. Take the attention away. Exactly. Because you can also, because there was still a flash, there was still a paranoia left for the side of 100 Thieves for that execute. And you could also buy some of that util, but oh me, oh my, what a round. Oh, what a shot. Fantastic shutdown. It's a hell of a lot of damage. Down to 10 HP, but push here on the side coming through. Caron, couple shots in. Suspects that they're going to be in a little bit deeper, and he does not turn for the flash. He's going to be taken out. That's going to be a weapon recovered here for the side of 100 Thieves. Meteor now arriving in heaven. Fragment disrespects it, drifts across it, finds a headshot, but bang, takes him down. Oh, and what a reply from 100 Thieves! <laughs> Get eco They eco him right back! Spike Minor planted. investment. Locking out last one standing. A 50-50, and he cannot get either of them. A massacre Drifty, a proper one here, as 100 Thieves get themselves back into a leading position. What a response. Yeah, they just turn up the pace, and they start hitting some great flashes along the way. Just shutting everyone out as Asuna. Cryo wins a great early battle. That's brutal to lose that. But then look at these flashes. They're hitting everybody. Insanely good stuff and it just shows you how good these two teams are. Able to go eco for eco against each other. Genji down to Sheriffs, Shorty for Lakia, Phantom for Meteor, Guardian for Texture, and they're just gonna keep the pace going. Storming their way through. Nano gonna be going off, Paranoia connecting onto a couple players, and Austin on the turret, finishes him off. Surely not another one! Meteor's you till getting so much value! And somehow it's happening again! What is going on? This is madness! They're just reading each other so well! Oh, the spot. That's the spot, but he TPs back, Jen. They think he's maybe in hell, but... Karen with a smart reposition. Lucio entering, finding one, but then just getting counter sprayed down. It's another MasterCard Thrifty! Eight to eight! These teams inseparable! <laughs> These have been some of the most explosive rounds you will see on Ascent. They are just clobbering each other on A. Look at these nanos.
so wonderfully placed, and Bang just gets I, I can. driven by. I'm talking about the flashes in the previous round for yep. Hunter Thieves. Here right they back are. At it. Yep. Absolutely unreal scenes, the likes of which we have never witnessed before. <laughs> Give me more of that. I en I'm enjoying this. Well, the economy needs to be broken if that's going to be the case. Texture waiting out to see if there's going to be a ping, but instead, 100 Thieves, read it. We just spray across, Texture falls. The trap play, not getting its catch. It's left open so much space on A, and that brings out the fragment from Gen G to make sure that they can reposition, and Munchkin just plops himself right in the middle of this smoke. Bang waiting to see if he'll push out, but... Munchkin gonna think better of it. Gets the check though. Yeah. Munchkin wanting to push it. Takes him down a little bit low. Bang. Having to wait out that suppression before trying to make any kind of exit for himself. That's so well played by Munchkin. Fake on the TP. Munchkin doesn't read that at all. So the answer's gonna be no. No attempt at a spray. No command now gonna be popped. So they rotate over here in towards B, but Meteor able to collect one kill. Weapon still works just fine. Oh! Meteor! Shuts down three, Reds can come through. Austin is still in the fight. The push now, the flood retake attempt coming in as Karan able to find two quick kills and bang. Still, he's in spawn. Working. He's over in their spawn. 30 seconds left. A massive opportunity here for him. No way the, they read this. The door is shut. They know. They're so aware at the moment. Karan staring over here towards Alley. Tucks back though. But Munchkin left lingering. He's got the spike under his control, and karon has got the headshot to give Genji the lead. Oh my god. These rounds are absolutely <laughs> bonkers, dude. These are just so crazy, the back and forth. I mean, you get the opener on the texture, and then you buy a bit of time. You bait out some good utility from Genji, and Meteor just goes crazy. I mean, these, these repositions, gets the first dink, and he's like, oh, I'm going to get more off of this. And Karon. Steps in, finds a second through the wall there. Ridiculous stuff that we are seeing here. Genji now up nine to eight, but it has just been a fairly pendulum swinging map. <laughs> these players just back and forth, giving over these rounds. Again, softer by here for the side of 100 Thieves. Guardian for Stingers. Pull back from Meteor. Paranoia timing is gorgeous. And Meteor collecting the first kill, collecting a second. Fusio dead. Caron here at hell. But that's exactly where he's looking to set 100 Thieves. Two kills picked up. Meteor with a finisher. Another three piece from him. And Gen G move up to 10. And yeah, no shenanigans this time. Gen G's not falling for these early executes. Getting caught up in that util. Instead, they pedal back just enough and then wait for the paranoia, wait for their opportunities to strike. Karan just being super patient in hell. Another flash there to set Meteor up as well. And I love the change-ups from Gen G, starting to get the feel for the flow of this. And they have a ton of alts, Achilleos. So does 100 Thieves, though. Yeah. Both have their lockdowns. It's back into the full investment here for them. Hunter's very available for both to try to clear out those lockdowns if they come into play. Hunter Thieves for now, just wanting to take some early space. But, okay, Hunter Sphere gonna go across. Looking for the tags, though. Not gonna be found, and that opens up for a fairly free use lockdown. Meteor can get a timing one to counteract and try to stave them off. Could just be nullified off the rip, but texture for now. Creeping forward, thinking about it. Swings out, but Cryo just around the corner. Oh. Asuna up on top of the box. Tries to get the flick. Wow. Not quite gonna make it happen this time. Jeez. Thought we might get a repeat of that one earlier. Yeah. The elbow <laughs> peak. Yes. Texture so aware. Hitting the flow state right now is Gen G. They've sent 100 Thieves pedaling over to the other side of the map. And that's going to be the strong side for Gen G. A lot of that initiator utility over there. Plus Caron, the paranoia in the smokes. He's nasty to deal with, but still in hell. So there's an opportunity here for 100 Thieves. Wait out the zero point. Look at these rotations. They really think that this is going to be a B hit now. And well to have their world turned upside down. Zero point. Spotting on a one. Caron, though, still here at hell. Spike Finally going to be dealt a. with. Finds one. Asuna taken out. Pop flush over the top. The swinging from Lockyer. Odin in hand. Finds one. Bang now. Dead. Spike now planted. 20 seconds here. Does have the lockdown, but do you commit it? Versus four. Door now broken. And they're in such a poor spot. EU, a little bit late to react. Still finds one, but now dead. And Bustio alone. 
can't make it happen. Munchkin with three will get Gen G another round win. Two away from 2 0 a 100 Thieves. Man, the recovery here for Gen G is so good. 100 Thieves had him completely fooled on the lack of information. Gen G starts guessing that it's going to be B. They even invest a lockdown over there. And then a great flash over the top from Munchkin. Well timed there to catch a bunch of 100 Thieves members. That sets up him and Lakia to do some damage. They spread things out. 100 Thieves. It's going to take a little bit of time here to rethink this because now they are not able to go blow for blow with Gen G. It's been four in a row that Gen G has been able to string together. This, oh was, this was the ultimate hurdle, though. This point on Icebox for Gen G took him so very long to try to get that 12th round win. And this time, 100 Thieves are a hell of a lot closer in that score line. But this timeout ends up working for them. Still, very much give Gen G some struggles in trying to get up to match point. They still have an immense amount of tools available to them. Hunter's Fury, lockdown committed by Gen G in that last round. They hold both of those ults right now. 100 Thieves, can they make them work? Can they use them to their advantage to turn this back around? Exactly. I mean, I think I'm still the glasses half full here. 400 Thieves. I'm still feeling like they can turn this around with that alt advantage. I mean, now you've got the Op and the Odin for Gen G, but there's opportunities here to clear some space to get a plant down and maybe do some serious damage to Gen G, knock these power weapons out for a round. And the, the concern, though, is, is that Gen G's banked up quite an economy. Yeah. So you're going to have to do it a couple times. But got an opportunity to at least start that march right here, right now. A little bit of a check. Meteor just backpedals a bit to dodge it. Taking their time. They're, I mean, Genji's been so aggressive sometimes in the, the beginning of these rounds. You have to worry that, you know, it's going to be Texture and Munchkin or Texture and Charon or Charon and Munchkin. You never know who's going to be coming around that corner. But look at the read right now for Genji. Yeah, they've got I'm the read. Shifting reads. everybody. I mean, Lakia, he's just pushing so far forward. He's up into B lobby. Nothing going to be seen. No util sent over at A. Or over in mid, I should say, as Cryo goes for an entry. As he pushes out of the smoke, though, Texture able to shut him down. He peeks over towards main Meteor, however, covering fire, finding one. And Karen still here in hell. Bang finds one, but that is not enough. EU, last one standing once more. Gen G, barring a miraculous clutch, they're getting themselves up to match point. The Jiggle Peak, they know him. And they want to take everything away from him. Just what a read from Gen G. It's so difficult there for 100 Thieves to find any advantage. Charon's immediately TPing out from behind Jen. Texture just never really noticed in 30 time. Seconds left. Up on top of heaven. Charon just a devil in hell. And just reigning supreme from that position. And Munchkin is going to get the final kill on the EU. It's match point, Achilles. 12 to 8, 100 Thieves. Match Cashless, point. timeoutless. The buy is going to be rough. They still have a lockdown, but there's a no command on the other side. Munchkin might not even give him the opportunity to use it. Genji. Some stumbles, some crazy thrifties, but these last several rounds have been absolutely pristine from them as they look to shut down the number one seed from Americas. Look at this off positioning, getting aggressive with it. Smoke to cover it though. Here. Oh, the spam damage. Bang Not with sure the he, Guardian. Did he get a spot of him? I don't, might have. I don't see how. Munchkin going to look to try to reinforce his position, expecting that there's still going to be some kind of push coming through mid. It's tucked away just ahead of the smoke dissipating. I think they're aware. Is he going to be ready for this? No, he's not. Cryo, very aware. Very snappy. They're taking too much damage now. Three players alive. Lakia with a judge. Gonna struggle to try to find value. Meteor, only one over on this A site. And with the ult check, gonna have a long rotation to reinforce A. If that's where 100 Thieves end up striking. Flash, Flash at the ready. Full util. Dumped here. It's gonna be popped. Meteor trying to buy some time here. Allow for the rest of the team to rotate over. Fragment gonna be thrown down right at Meteor's feet. He's gotta push out off of that one, but he's got this one way setup and he's able to collect a single kill. Rotates back, tucks away, looks for Bang, can't make it happen. Bang finds a headshot. It's locking out, picking up the operator. 
Taken down, oh, Bang gets himself a third. Coming alive here when they need it the most. For Caron, it would be absolutely monstrous of him. This young gun, this rookie. Smoke nearly back up, finds the first, but it's taken down to 20 HP. Nigh impossible for him, especially with the flank coming around the back. Cryo will just go ahead, challenge him for the fight. Takes him down. Three players left alive, weapons collected, 100 thieves. They hang in. Yeah, there's still life in them yet. And Bang, doing a great job there. I, I, I'm with you, Achilles. I'm not sure if they saw something underneath that smoke, like a pixel just... out of place, or just caught a glimpse on the map, or just guessed. Just a read. Just a read. Yep, and that's, no, that's fair. I mean, it's just a great understanding. It's okay, I think Texture's gonna be pushing up. Smoke is gonna just go ahead and try to back off. And he's just got the lineup for it. It's huge. Gives him an opportunity. Now they've got another lockdown for Bustio to work with. I mean, man's just been holding on to it. Yeah. Oh, he's just been holding on to it. Yeah, he hasn't used it. You're right. Just felt like so long ago that maybe he would have yeah. used it. Texture just looking to clear out that turret. Backs off. Wary about any kind of counter swing up from top mid. They're going to really stack towards B. They're anticipating that the with all the troubles that Under Thieves has had at A, when that's been their main point of attack without any early picks, eventually they're going to have to consider B, but with this op here, let's see if Texture can find the opening kill. Ooh, EU swinging, but not wide enough for Texture to collect that one. Breathe a sigh of relief as he manages to stay alive. One player spotted, not enough to sell it here, it seems, for Gen G to believe in this A hit. It's going to be Texture and Munchkin to try to stave this off, to try to close out the map. Drone at the ready. They spread the initiator utility, so it's tough to get a read. Off doesn't clear it. Texture now, knives pop, reveal the meteor. Able to oh, find dang. one, tucks back in towards tree. Busio here behind him, working his way forward into the smoke. Looks for the shot, finally stabilizes it. Doesn't take too much damage, but Karen now arriving. Find the first, puts the spike on the floor. Wide swing, gets himself another elimination. Now Munchkin on the floor. Not looking at Resible here. Lakia rotating over. Catches a glimpse of the shoulder. Can he go for the res? Tucks down the crouch, saving him for a brief little moment. Looks for the shot, and he cannot have it. Double wall bangs, 100 thieves continue. Now getting themselves up to double digits. Now they're able to spread the map just enough. It's this extra attention that Asuna is drawing on the other side of the map that keeps Gen G from being able to retake, to go for the flood. A great lurk from Bustio to get the kill on the Meteor. Meteor had no idea. Dead to right, Nasuna immediately up top to shut down the no command. Great spray through there to get those two kills off the res. Gen G now gonna take a timeout. Really reconsider their options, see what they can do. It's still just been a lot of eventual attention towards A or the side of 100 Thieves. That's got to be in the back of your mind as Genji. Are they eventually going to be going B? You can see that they're starting to shift some of their forces over in that direction, kind of anticipating it. But so far, Under Thieves has done a much better job of working the early parts of the round, finding those players out of place, getting those executes set up to where they're a lot safer because there's no counter utility available from Genji. I mean, think about that previous round. All you've got is texture and meteor. There's no flashes, there's no nothing. You just have to hit your shots. Final send here on the timeouts out of the coach's hands after this, unless this goes to overtime. Let's see if 100 Thieves can deliver on that. Lockdown still available, Meteor 2 off of his own. 100 Thieves needing to get these next two consecutively. Take us into that OT to have a chance Cover going at taking out. us to a third map. Texture just going to opt to not grab a gun. Just kind of playing off of a dead teammate, potentially. They went for a, a walkabout in A main, but that gives them a ton of info that this is going to be a B hit. So they've already got a lot of reinforcements in place. And to clear out the alarm box, which is going to be hit here as Cryo goes pushing forward. Recon pings him, though. Spray across it. Look at them trying to take him down. Asuna as well going to be noted as Meteor fights one, fights two, gets himself a third. Meteor wants this series to end. Bosio. The last one standing sees one, but he's noted, he's dead! 13-10, once again, Gen G! They are back!
Madrid form once again. They take down the America's number one seed. No one has played more maps of Valorant this year than Gen G, and they just get better and better and better. They power up the more they go. Unbelievable stuff here to shut down 100 threes two to zero. Me oh my, and Meteor on this last map at B site. He Fly. wasn't having any of it. Absolutely flying. Man's playing Killjoy, seven first bloods for him. What a performance. For 100 Thieves, obviously, tournament not over. A chance to run it back. A chance to keep themselves in this one, to still reach that grand final. Not quite taking the path that they wanted, but there is still opportunity here for this team, because you know that this loss is going to make them hungrier than they even were before. Oh, yeah, well, and in some ways, to make matters worse for 100 Thieves, you just lost to Pacific's number two. Now you got to go up against Pacific's number one. With a couple more struggles there for the side of Paper Rex, but yeah, sure. not gonna be an easy game by any metric. And I mean, they already were delivering on Chaos here versus Gen G. Who the hell knows what it's gonna <laughs> look like when they go up against Paper Rex? I mean, I don't think anybody is ready for that. I'll take more of this ascent. That was that was awesome. That was just a, such a fun map for both squads. Really, both teams throwing a lot at each other. Tons of different looks. Great recoveries. Great adjustments. You gotta give 100 Thieves credit. Like, it was a rough start on both maps, and they were able to bring it back both times. So, there's still a lot of fight in this team. It's just, oh yeah, it, you can't. It's so weird because with both of these teams, I'm like, you can't have slow starts. Right. Because if you come out of the gate swinging, you're just gonna lose to the other because they're so sturdy in the long run. I honestly disappointed that we didn't get to see the overtime. We didn't get to see Breeze come through because there's so many wild moments. So many just. Great plays here throughout. Saw on attempts for the side, 100 threes to run this one back, but giving up far too much at the start of that ascent. Far too much at the start of that ice box. Gen G just came out swinging. Just the waves exchanged across the stage here. Camaraderie still found, but man, Gen G keep themselves in that upper bracket. Let's go ahead and hear from Locky in our Verizon post-match interview. Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到赛后采访，我是维嘉。让我们再次恭喜 Gen G 赢下了本场比赛的胜利。我们也是请到了 Lakia 选手来接受我们的采访，同时 Gen 也会做一些翻译的工作。Welcome to the post-match interview, and now I'm joined by Lakia from Gen G with us and Gen for some translations. 首先，一定要恭喜他们获得了比赛的胜利。同时，我们想先聊一下第一张地图——森寒东港。其实，对于 G N G 来说，是一个非常好的开始，九比三的上半场。但是，可能来到下半场之后，一百 T 也是通过自己的方式稍微扭转了一些局势。也想问一下，当时在那种情况下，他们是如何保持一个积极的心态，最后赢下比赛胜利的呢 ？So it was a very good start on Icebox, nice run in the first half. But the Hunter Six ended up swimming the momentum their way. So how do you keep a positive mental? Like to in those situation to secure the win. Icebox에서 출발이 너무 좋았는데 이제 백티가 계속해서 따라왔잖아요. 그럴 때좀 선수들끼리 어떤 얘기를 하면서 멘탈을 잡으려고 했나요? 어 일단 저희들의 커뮤니케이션을 좀더 집중했고 상대 플레이는 저희가 알고 있었는데 저희가 좀 많이 당했어요. 그래가지고 그런 실수를 좀 생각했었던 것 같고 그리고 그냥 간단하게 네 저희가 잘하는 총 그걸 생각했던 것 같습니다. We mainly focused on getting the communication clean and flowing um, in those situations. And also, we knew what 100 Thieves were going to do, but we still made some mistakes from our side. And also, um, we let them have some rounds, even though we knew what they were about to do and we were well aware of their game plans. So we kept ourselves very focused and tried to close it out. 他说，在那个时候，其实，在这种情况下，他们最注注意的、最需要做到的，就是保持好他们积极的沟通，每一分的沟通。其实，在那个时候，他们很多时候其实是知道 One Hundred Thieves 他们是打算做什么的，但是他们确实犯了一些错误，也让对方抓到了机会。但是，即使如此，在那个时候，面对一百 T， 他依然知道他们的一些打法风格以及他们的计划是什么样的。同时，他们也非常清楚自己可以赢下比赛的胜利。那接下来第二个问题，因为其实来到了季后赛之后，我们发会发现很多赛区的一号。种子表现并没有想象中的那么好，也想问一下 Lakia 选手，他觉得原因是什么呢 ？So when we come to the playoffs, it feels like all the first seed from other region maybe not as good as we expected. So what do you think is the reason for that? 이번에 플레이오프에 들어오면서 1번 시드가 각 지역에서 좀 힘을 발휘하지 못하고 있는 것 같거든요. 특별한 이유가 있을 것 같나요? 
어, 1번 시드가 힘을 발휘하지 못한다기보다는 저희가 잘한 것 같다고 생각하고요. 1번 시드들은 힘을 충분히 발휘했던 것 같고요. 근데 저희가 좀 퍼포먼스적인 거나 그런 게 너무 좋았던 것 같아요. I don't think it's the first seed uh, nerf. Um, I mean, the first seed teams are playing uh, well, pretty well, but it's just um, us performing very well, catching everybody off guard with how good we are. So it's just more on us being able to um, overperform. 他说：“其实对于他来说，他并不觉得所有赛区的一号种子表现没有那么好。但是可能可能对于他们来讲的话，其实是 JNG 的表现可能会给大家一些出乎意料的时候，在很多时候面对其他赛区的一号种子的时候，也能打出一个非常非常好的表现，从而赢下比赛的胜利。那我们的赛后采访到这里就先结束了。再一次感谢 Lucky 选手来接受我们的采访，也感谢 j a n 做我们的翻译工作。那我们一会儿再见。And that's all for our interview. And thank you for joining me. And thank you for joining. Translations. 谢谢。谢谢，谢谢你。See you guys later. 谢谢 Two of the best teams of this tournament so far are about to go up against each other, and things could get really spicy. You heard it there from Genji. If Busio were to stand up against them today, they're just going to tell him to sit down. They went already burned, but now the reinforcements arrive. Too much can lock it, collecting one apiece, lock it, doubling up, tripling up. In fact, Genji up by three. Nothing to try to interrupt that one. Picture here, back yellow. But it's going to be Munchkin who's filling the kill feed. But Munchkin gets himself an ace. Ace. Connecting in on top of it, not going to be able to clear this one. Texture going to be taken down. Four players detained. Absolutely everyone caught this round. It's a massacre. Bustio, what a catastrophe for Genji! Let's go, baby, go bring the shit back. Let's get it, baby. Bring Come on, we got this shit. Five so balls. That was a good round. And those kills gives the thrash over here to lock up. Bang up top to detain through. And they cannot find the kills. Genji will put their feet down and close out Icebox 13 to 10. Again, they attempted the entry, but Bang in the same position gets the same players, but this time he gets Munchkin on top. Up into window and Munchkin not reading that he's being shot at whatsoever. Texture now does come in, managed to find that back seven, cannot displace Asuna, who holds down the site. Pop flash gonna be sent in. Munchkin doing a decent amount of damage. No! Texture collecting two. Into the back to push for Texture finding himself a third. Looking for the fourth. Meteor delivering the final headshot. The fluttery take attempt coming in as Karan able to find two quick kills and Karan's got the headshot to give Gen G the lead. EU, a little bit late to react, still finds one, but now dead. Bustio, alone, can't make it happen. Munchkin with three will get Gen G another round win. Pings him though, spray across it, looking to try to take him down. Austin as well, gonna be noted as Meteor finds one, finds two, gets himself a third! 13-10, once again, Gen G! They are back! Madrid form once again, they take down the America's number one seed! Thank <laughs> you. 
Red Bull gives you wings.